There's a popular longevity compound that's out there that's uh, been talked about a lot. It's been talked about by Dr. David Sinclair. It's, it's pretty widely known and actually seems to have pretty strong potential effects when it comes down to longevity, but at the very least, energy metabolism, energy manufacturing within the body. But what we're seeing now with some literature is that it might have even more potent effects when it comes down to fat loss. And this is stuff that we hadn't even talked about before. And all has to do with how we liberate fat out of the actual tissue and how we actually start the burning process. Because just like any kind of like incinerator or any kind of burning process, like you need to initially have a spark, right? So I've got an analogy that'll make some sense and how it all adds up together. And after this video, I put a link down below for probably one of the coolest things I've seen in the biohacking world yet, let alone used, and it is a red light therapy blanket. So. You can't make fun of me for red light therapy anymore because the science is way too strong and it definitely works and the military uses it, professional athletes use it, sports teams use it, definitely works. The problem is you really need like full body coverage. So a lot of times people end up having to go to like really expensive tanning beds, sort of things that are actually red light therapy beds. And anyway, the point is, is that Bond Charge has a red light therapy like blanket. It's like a sleeping bag that you get in where they've managed to get the 660 nanometer wavelength red light into a flexible sort of diode that you can actually crawl in this thing like a sleeping bag. And it's very reasonably priced when you consider how much it costs to typically go in a red light therapy bed. Plus that link down below gets you 25% off. So make sure you use that code that is down there by the link for Bond Charge for 25% off any of their products, but specifically in this case, their red light therapy blanket, which is more like a sleeping bag. So the compound that I'm talking about, just because you're going to probably click off after you hear it, but I highly encourage you, please, please, please stick around because I'm going to teach you something about it and how to use it. And also stick around for the algorithm because when you just click off when you hear what I have to say, it doesn't really help anything. It actually just, I don't know, you don't learn much and it actually ends up hurting things. So if you also leave a comment down below, it helps the algorithm as well so more people can see this and understand the science of how it works. Okay, so there was a study done with NMN and it was done, uh, in this case it was published in PNAS. What was interesting is what they found is that they took mice in this particular case and they knocked out an enzyme that is called NAMPT. This is extremely important because NAMPT helps drive NAD to produce a thermogenic effect in white adipose tissue and brown adipose tissue. So it helps the fat turn into heat. Without NAMPT, there's big problems. So what they found with these mice is when they removed the NAMPT enzyme, they knocked it out, cold exposure did not induce a thermogenic effect. Fasting did not induce a thermogenic effect. Caloric restriction, so basically they lost fat loss and thermogenic benefits from any kind of stressor, okay? And the main stressor that would really see this is like cold exposure, right? And it was nothing. And what they found with this is that this inhibited white fat from being able to ever like kickstart fat oxidation and it inhibited or prohibited brown fat, which is normally metabolically and thermogenically active, to actually produce heat. Interestingly enough is they found that when NMN was supplemented, this actually would override this process and rescued the whole process. So NMN was able to produce NAD via another mechanism so it could still continue. So this means for normal people that NMN provides enough NAD to actually support the energetic requirements of fat burning and brown adipose tissue to begin with. So let me explain it like this in a very simple sort of analogy. You have a, you have a, a bunker and this bunker has a bunch of fat cells in it. If you just opened the door to the bunker, some of them might kind of trickle out, but they're not going to like fly out of the bunker and be liberated to be burned it requires some energy to kick them out. You need at least one person to get in there and like get all those fat cells and push them out, right? Get all the bad guys out of the bunker, okay? The problem is, is that that requires energy. And if you don't have the energy to drive that, then you're not gonna ever kickstart that process, let alone turn it into heat. So it's almost like a spark that's required in an internal combustion engine. You can't start producing engine until, or, energy until you actually like spark and ignite, right? So you need that. So it's almost the igniter. So the NAD acts as a fat igniter 
so the rest of the process can occur with lipolysis and fatty acid oxidation. Okay? So that takes energy. We don't realize that NAD has an effect on that. And now we see that NMN has a big potential there. So my goal here isn't to just go get you to go buy NMN. You can if you want to. It's available lots of different places. It's easy to find. But my goal is to teach you that NAD and like supporting our longevity mechanisms is actually really, really important for fat loss and continued thermogenesis. Interestingly enough, there was another study that looked at resistance training and how that increased NAD to increase this same process. So this study was published in the journal Medicine and Science and Sports and Exercise, where they took subjects and they had them resistance trained for 12 weeks. They did muscle biopsies, cross-sectional areas, prior to the exercise intervention and after the exercise intervention. What they saw is that the electron transport chain had improved in efficiency so much that they were actually able to produce more NAD. There were literally more proteins available within the complex one area of the electron transport chain that these protein, proteins would become available for NAD production. More NAD production leads to what? More people kicking the fat cells out. So we don't realize, like, sometimes we get lost in the whole thought of like, energy is calories, and more energy means we store more. But there's also like cellular energy, which encourages us to move and burn more. We're not talking about eating more for energy. We're talking about true NAD, true cellular energy at an enzymatic level to kickstart these processes. So what is the magic takeaway here? Okay, I recommend NMN, nicotinamide mononucleotide, for many reasons from a longevity perspective, but now from a fat loss perspective, but also what is called trimethylglycine, which can work in tandem with this as an antioxidant to help improve fat liberation and fat oxidation. But then I encourage people to do full body resistance training. Full body resistance training is probably going to be one of the most powerful fat burning mechanisms or tools that you have in your toolbox. Not necessarily in the short term, but very much so in the long term because of what it can do for mitochondrial efficiency and NAD availability. So if people ask me like, what's the best exercise for body fat reduction or for belly fat reduction? I'm gonna say full body resistance training, major compound moves that incorporate lots of the body. Things like thrusters, things like, where you're putting on muscle but you're also moving the entirety of the body. Trust me on this, from an energetic standpoint, a cellular biology standpoint, and even a complex one through four, like mitochondrial electron transport chain, entire function, it makes sense at a bioenergetic level. So as always, keep it locked in here on my channel. See you tomorrow.